Okay, hi there. I am AuthorCat13 on YouTube and CocoroCat on um, DA. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do a few things in PMD Editor because uh, on DA I told somebody that I would help them out by doing a voiceover. Uh, I hope this will be a little bit more in-depth than my last tutorial because my last tutorial, even though a lot of people have told me that it was really helpful, um, I don't think it was very in-depth and it wasn't as um, helpful as I would have liked it to be. Um, but anyway, um, pardon the background noise. My uh, grandparents are working on the deck right now. Uh, we're building a deck. But anyway, that's not relevant. Um, okay, what you need to do first is you need to open up PMD Editor, obviously. Then you need to go down to F, click O, and then find the model that you want to use. I'm using Animaro Miku because I really like his models and everything, and it's probably the best Miku that I've seen in a really, really long time. Um, but, okay, when you open up the model, it will have the bones turned on. Left click twice, and the um, options window will pop up. Um, you need to go down to this area right here. This is what you will use to turn on um, bones, physics, anchor bones, etc. Okay, you need to um, to turn off bones, go to the first option and click the first box um, and click. The bones should turn off. Click it again and the bones will turn back on. Click the one underneath it and anchor bones will turn on. These keep the bone from um, flying back to the mother, mother bone, mother, mother bone, um, and that's really helpful because you really don't want your bones flying everywhere. <laughs> Sorry, I just got the mental image of bones flying everywhere. Anyway, uh, I'm not sure what the third option is. If anyone could tell me, I would love to know. It might have something to do with vertices because that's pretty much where they're placed. Um, Kinda looks like a caterpillar thing. Whatever. <laughs> okay, the option underneath, underneath it turns on the physics, and it'll. This box here, this window here, will be really helpful later when we go to uh, delete bones and physics. So keep that in mind. You will use that a lot. Uh, it's absolutely mandatory that you. Um, delete bones and physics and joints because if you don't it will lag up your model and then it will lag up your MMD which isn't good at all. Um, to open up layers and the resizing window you need to go to V then go down to W and this is your layers window. If you go back to V and then click E you will have your resizing window open. Alright, let's go over the um, layers window first. Uh, to select a layer, you need to click this um, circle right here. Uh, these are your layers. I know that this is the pigtails because I've recorded this about 15 billion times. Uh, so I'm going to select that and if you want to delete it you need to right click go down to um, P click it and then click yes and this will work here in a moment maybe okay yep see she has no um, back hair no pigtails no whatever so it's gone but I'm going to bring it back by undoing that because she kind of looks a little weird without it. And I need the hair for another demonstration. Uh, but anyway, we are going to, that's pretty much what you can do in um, uh, the layers window. Uh, if you want to learn how to separate a layer, all right. Select what you want to separate, 
right click and go down to S. Click yes and it will become its own layer. Click yes or click the new layer. Go down to P if you want to delete it. Um, but go down to P, click yes, and I guess Miku will have shorter pigtails. I don't recommend doing this because I really don't like that. It kind of looks a little odd. Although, for the heck of it, I'm going to mess around with it. <laughs> Alright, but anyway. Yep, she has straight ponytails now. Pigtails, whatever, you know what I mean. Oh, that's kind of cute. <laughs> Okay, whatever. Um, but for, um, uh, we're going to go for the resizing window now. Alright, select what you want to resize. So we're just going to select this, um, area right here. Um, this makes it smaller or bigger all around. Okay, gonna have to go back over that. The first column here is for moving things. This here is just for general moving, not in any direction particularly. Uh, I don't like using it as much because it's really imprecise, so I like using the options underneath it. Okay, X moves it on the X axis from side to side. Y moves it up and down, obviously, on the Y axis. Z moves it from front to back. Um, it's not particularly useful for me, so I don't really use it that often. Dot, dot, dot. Sorry, the computer lagged. I don't know if you were able to see it or not. I don't know. Um, the second option is for angling and um, for angling and twisting and stuff, I guess. I don't like using it that often because I don't like it. <laughs> it has a lot of breakage, if you know what I mean. See, that right there, that's breakage. Um, I know somebody used it recently to do um, curls. Um, I didn't like it at all. It looked really bad to me, but whatever floats your boat. See, that's curls, apparently. Um, anyway, but that's what that does. Um, the uh, third column is... The third column is for resizing. Um, X resizes it um, on the x-axis. Um, but yeah, it recesses it on the x-axis. Why... Why makes it... Why... Why makes it taller? Z moves it from front to back. Or it stretches it from front to back. Like that. Uh, that's really it for these two windows. So we're just going to um, move on to something else. Alright, right click or left click twice again and turn back on the bones. Alright, because we have deleted the bottom of her pigtail, um, we are going to have to move the bones. Now in this window right here, click this button and you'll be able to select bones. Oops. Oh well. Um, uh, you do the exact same thing if you want to select all bones or certain bones, just do the exact same thing you would with um, vertices. So we are going so we are going to resize the hair bones because we have deleted the um, uh, bottoms of her pigtails and we have to uh, resize them. So we are going to make them smaller. Oops. 
and we and we're going to move them upward I guess Um, but yeah, I don't think I did that right, but you get the gist of it, I guess. Um, yeah. Or you could just delete the bones, I guess. Uh, yeah, that would probably be the best idea. Uh, so we are going to, I'm going to show you how to delete bones now. Alright, click on the bone that you want to delete, and then go back to the original window. Now, if you go to the, um fourth tab up here. This is the bones tab. This is where you can delete bones. Add bones, whatever you want to do. Alright. To delete a bone, you need to left click and select R or delete and the bone will be deleted. Except I just deleted the wrong bone so... but I deleted the wrong bone so we're gonna have to go back and do that again. Alright. Yep, yeah, there we go. Alright, so now that we have the right bones, um, we need to delete the anchor bones, which are these right here. Because if we don't do that, then it'll lag up. Well, not really with this model, but if you're trying to put um, different things on the same model and you haven't deleted all the um, anchor bones, it will lag up your MMD. So that's why you need to delete anchor bones. Um, to delete physics, go to the second to last tab, and you need to. Well, I'll, dang it! Sorry, my computer's lagging up really, really bad right now because I have three really big programs running. Well, I guess they're not really big, but you understand. Okay, we'll just have to do this the long way. Um, okay, now you need to open the, um, or click right, or click left twice, I'm sorry, um, yeah. Uh, but click left twice. Click left twice and, um, turn on the physics. Go back to the original window and find the bones that you need to, or find the In our case, it is these two right here. And that one. So the physics are all nice and pretty again. So we're going to turn those off. Um, I'm trying to think of something else that we need to that I need to cover. Um, I think that's it. I might do some another tutorial on um, a few other things like how to add sliders, um, maybe how to add bones. I don't really remember how right now. I'm gonna have to ask uh, more, not more spoilers. Uh, retarded Zero Nightmare um, again because she's the one who told me how. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to ask her again how to delete bones or add bones. I mean, because I can't remember. I think that was the entire reason that I was gonna make this tutorial, but you know, that didn't work. Um. I can make another tutorial later um, how to import an item because I know somebody asked me about that as well. Um, but yeah, for now that's it. Um, I'm going to reiterate myself at the end of this video because it really makes me mad. Don't recolor a model.